Hello again and welcome back to a new series in this channel. In this series I will be surviving 100 days in hardcore minecraft in the Hell World preset. If you are wondering what the Hell World preset is, it is an old world preset brought from the in-dev days which I made into a mod for modern minecraft. The main features of this preset are the lack of skylight, so everything is dark and mobs spawn all the time. All the water is replaced by lava and there are no grass blocks which means no animals can spawn. So let's get started. Here we are in a brand new world. First things first I need some wood. Fortunately there is a tree right next to the spawn. After getting some wood I wanted to get some stone for tools and immediately got jumped by zombies. After escaping them I got some stone and finally made some tools. Then I decided to farm some blocks with the help of creepers so I can make bridges in the lava. And I almost got blown up in the process. Afterwards I farmed some zombies for food and spiders for string so I can make a bed. And here's one of the only safe places in this world. A little peninsula lit up by lava so there are no mobs. This will be the main base for the series. I started making a mine before I realized I have no torches and went to get some more wood. On the way I got into a fight with zombies again. Back at the base I almost got killed by a single zombie. In my defense last time I've played survival minecraft was modded so I'm not used to the short reach of vanilla. After smelting some wood into charcoal and making torches it was finally time to go mining. Almost immediately I found some iron and decided to make a shield first to be safe. But I still kept using stone tools to conserve iron as I can't go looking for caves in the darkness and finding iron like this isn't the best. Even before making it to Y11 I already found some diamonds but had to go back to the base and make an iron pick. And at the end of day 1 I got a somewhat safe base, some food and 10 diamonds, not bad for the first day. On day 2 I mostly did the loop of mining, going to my base farming all the trees that have grown up in the hopes of getting some apples and going back in the mine and repeat. After doing that for almost a whole day and not getting a single apple I decided it was time to go to the nether and get some food from the hoggins, as I was running low on supplies. But before going to the nether I've decided to finally make the base a little safer and started adding walls with the cobblestone from the mine. Here's how the base looks after cleaning up and adding walls in the morning of day 3. Before going to the nether I made some armor as well, as there was no point in keeping the iron anymore, can't use it anyways if I die. Afterwards I made a nether portal on the beach next to my base and put some wood to ignite it as I can't get any gravel for flint and steel. Then I made it safer around the portal as I don't want to fall into the lava accidentally. After going to the nether, I quickly did the same around the portal, better be safe than sorry. Luckily I found some stuck hogging so it was easy getting some food, I really hate fighting these guys. Then I went into my base to cook the meat, and I finally have some decent food, and in the morning of day 4 I went straight back into the nether to trade all the gold I have with the piglins, in the hopes of getting some water. Unfortunately I got exactly 0 water bottles from 42 gold which is extremely unlucky. And they went straight back to mining for more gold. Fortunately I quickly managed to find my first cave. On day 5 after mining out the cave I've decided to make a full set of diamond armor but I didn't have enough for pants. With the smelting done I finally had enough iron to start using iron tools and I made a diamond axe with the diamonds I had left over from the armor. Then I got some torches and decided to try and reach the brick pyramid in the distance. Quickly found myself in a fight with some mobs but I killed them with no issues. After going a little further I heard some phantoms and decided the risk was not worth it and went back to my base to finally sleep. Then in the morning of day 6 I decided to go and trade with the piglins again with the gold I made from exploring the cave. Unfortunately I forgot to put on some gold armor and got into a fight with 4 piglins. After going back to my base I got some gold armor and decided to try and find another nether biome by making a tunnel next to my portal so I can trade without getting chased by hoglings. But after breaking my iron pick without finding any sign of an opening I gave up and went to trade with the piglins anyway. Fortunately this time I managed to find a large group so trading will be faster. This time I got two water bottles, one more and I will be able to get water. I also got some ender pearls and a fire resistance potion for emergencies. Back at the base I made a cauldron to store my water. And I went back to exploring again, this time determined to make it to the pyramid. After getting in some more fights I finally made it to the pyramid. And here's the first look at the world from the top of the pyramid. It looks pretty cool, imagine all the things that could be built here. After the pyramid I went back to my base and in the morning of day 7 after some trees caught on fire I decided to make a dedicated tree farm next to the nether portal and clean up my base. I spent the whole of day 7 making this farm. It doesn't look great now but it works. It can be easily expanded and the tree should no longer catch on fire. During day 8 I went back to mining and managed to find another case so that means another 40 plus gold and tons of other resources. After smelting everything it was already day 9 
and I went back in the nether to trade with the piglins. This time I managed to get 3 water bottles with this gold badge, enough for infinite water. And here we go, I finally have infinite water, a big achievement in this world. After getting the water I went around the lava beach and poured some water so it would be safer in case I fall. Afterwards I got ready and went into the nether to find the fortress so I can finally get some blaze rods and nether wood and hopefully cure a zombie villager and get started with trading. I quickly managed to find the fortress in the distance and started making a tunnel to reach it. And here we are, the morning of day 10 and the first blaze kill. After finding a blaze spawner and getting lit on fire, I panicked and used my emergency fire resist potion. Then I spent half the day farming them for around 20 blaze rods so I will have enough for potions and to find a stronghold. I will probably lose half the ice of ender in lava. After getting around 13 rods, the fire resistance potion ran out and I decided that will be enough for now. And I started going back to my base. While getting back I got lost, but thankfully I had taken a screenshot of the coordinates of my portal, so I got back to my base safely. Back at my base I slept again so I don't get chased by phantoms again. And this is the end of the first 10 days. I got pretty far for 10 days in this brutal world preset. Feel free to leave a like and subscribe, leave your thoughts down in the comments, and I will see you again next time.